Hello friends, this video on solutions part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So, but you see in the world of chemistry, it is not the gram or the weight or um, the weight or the volume that matters. When you go for any chemical reaction, any chemical reaction, if you see, chemical reaction is based on moles. Why? Because chemical reaction, if you take any chemical reaction, hydrogen plus half oxygen gives water. The reaction happening, one atom or in balance in this way, two molecules of hydrogen reacts with one molecule of oxygen to give two molecules of water. It's all the number games, right? Number games. Now let's say 12 gram of carbon that 12 gram of carbon will have how much atoms that have one mole atom that is nothing but 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 atoms. but 12 gram of carbon will give this many atoms similarly 16 grams of oxygen will give these many atoms or one gram of hydrogen will give these many atoms but in chemical reaction this is the number of atoms that matters right but since there are a huge number of atoms so we don't generally deal with number of atoms we generally with number of moles and one mole is nothing but 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 atom that's that's a basic concept of chemistry you must be knowing that right so the whole chemical reaction based based on the number of atoms the number of molecules reacting correct so so we say that the chemical reaction is based on the number of atoms or molecules or the moles. Correct? The moles also is nothing but the number of molecules that is 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 atoms. The Avogadro number. So we need a way to express something in terms of moles also. Thus we have something called mole fraction. So mole fraction, the commonly used symbol is X. That is the symbol used for mole fraction. And the subscript is also used to denote the component. For example, I have component A in red and component B in blue. Right? Then if I say XA, that is nothing but moles or total number of moles, moles of A divided by moles of A plus moles of B because in this case I have a solution which has only A and B correct assuming it's a binary mixture in binary mixture you know we have only one solid one solvent so here let's suppose B is my solvent A is my solute so if I say XA is nothing but moles of A that is nothing but Na you know moles is written by this by Na plus N. that is how you write the mole fraction why mole fraction is required because the chemistry is based on moles so we should have something called mole fraction also correct and let's suppose uh, there is a non-binary solution there's a non-binary solution which has uh, a b c d like that z so here x a will be what x a will be number of moles of a divide by number of moles of A, number of moles of B, number of moles of C, dash dash, till number of moles of C. Similarly, X B will be what? That is the mole fraction of B will be what? Number of moles of B, divide by the whole thing. Number of moles of A plus number of moles of B, till number of moles of C. That's how it is. Correct? So, and also note that, mathematically we can prove that, the for example, in this case, right? Let's take this example. Let's forget this. this is a complicated scenario. So in this case, since the binary solution x a plus x b will always be equal to one, you can prove it. How? See moles fraction of a is what? Number of moles of a by number of moles of a plus number of moles of b. You just saw. Similarly, numbers mole fraction of b is what? number of moles of B by number of moles of A plus number of moles of B. 
right? Both has common denominator. So with this, you can write this as nothing but N A plus N B by N A plus N B. And that is nothing but if you see, it will get cancelled, you get 1. So in this case also, for example, you have A to Z or components, then X A plus X B till X Z will always be equal to 1. Mathematically, you can prove it. That's one property which we take advantage while solving numericals. So mole fraction is nothing but mole fraction of component A is nothing but moles of A by moles of A and moles of B for a binary compound which is only two components. But for a general scenario, I have let's suppose A to Z component, then moles of a uh, mole fraction of A is nothing but moles of A divided by moles of A, moles of B, moles of C, moles of D, like that till moles of Z. Similarly, mole fraction of B is nothing but moles of B divided by moles of A, moles of B, moles of C, moles of D till moles of Z. And sum of all the mole fraction for any solution will be equal to 1. And by the case also, XA plus XB is equal to 1 because there are only two different components. Let's take one numerical in the mole fraction just to understand the concept better. Calculate the mole fraction of ethylene glycol in a solution containing 20% of C2H6O2 by mass. So I have to find the mole fraction. So let's suppose my ethylene glycol, let's me call this as A. Let me call this as B. Correct? So this is the solution is 20% of mass. That means, see, the my by, I have to convert by mass concentration to the mole fraction. So when I say A is 20% by mass, that means if I assume total mass of solution, let's assume, let's assume, total mass of the solution please note it's a binary solution only two component b 100 gram why 100 gram i'm taking because we're talking about by mass see if i assume total mass of solution is 100 gram then what is the a component that is component a or my glycol ethylene glycol A will be 20% of 100 gram that is 20 gram correct and B is what B will be water obviously B is my water and A is my glycol water will be what the remaining one that is 100 minus 20 that is 80 gram so this is clear. The mass of ethylene glycol I have is 20 gram and the mass of water is I have 80 grams. So this is my blue is water. So I have 80 gram. And the red is my glycol. This is my glycol. And that is my 80 gram. Sorry, 20 gram. 20 gram. Correct. Now what I have to find? I have to find the mole fraction of glycol. That I have to find XA. So if I find to find XA, that is mole fraction of glycol, that is nothing but moles of A by moles of A plus moles of B. What is the formula of moles of A? Moles of A is what? Let me find first. Moles of A is mass of A by molar mass of A. So what is the mass of A here? My A is this glycol, nothing but 20 gram. What is the molar mass of A? 
So molar mass of uh, glycol I have to find. So let me find it here only. Carbon is 12. 12 into 2, 2 carbon. Hydrogen is 6 hydrogens, 1 into 6 because hydrogen molecular mass is 1. Oxygen I have 2. Oxygen molecular mass is 16, 16 into 2. So all this 24 plus 6, 30 plus 32, 62. So the molecular mass of A will be 62 gram per so molar mass of A is required this is my molar mass of glycol is required that is 62 gram per mole you saw this gram gram that's cancelled that becomes 20 by 62 that is 0.322 mole so Na I have that is 0.322 mole by this also Na I can put 0.322 mole plus moles of B so let me find moles of B now. Moles of B is what? Mass of B by molar mass of B. What is the mass of B? Mass of B is my 80 gram. 80 gram what? What is the molar mass of water? Molar mass of water we know. I can show you here H2O. Hydrogen is 1, 1 into 2. Sorry, 2 hydrogen, 1 gram of 1 gram is the molar mass, oxygen 16 gram is the molar mass, total is 18 gram per mole is the molar mass. So this is by 18 gram per mole. So you solve this, you get 4.444. That is only what? 4.44. So you solve this, this becomes what? This, you solve this, you get. 0 0.068 no unit why because molar mole gets cancelled right so molar refraction doesn't have any unit. so that is my mole fraction of ethylene glycol if i want to find the mole fraction of water i can just say mole fraction of ethylene uh, water is nothing but one minus mole fraction of ethylene glycol right this is water this is my glycol is nothing but 1 minus 0 0.068 or is nothing but 0.932 or if you want directly also we can solve mole fraction of water will be nb moles of water by total number of moles with that also you will get the same value without any unit correct Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.